In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Humbly we say, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, to my fault, through my fault, to my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Look kindly, Lord, we pray, on the devotion of your people, that those who by self-denial are restrained in body may by the fruit of good works be renewed in mind. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announced to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing, Forty days more and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, Put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclaimed throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles neither man or beast, neither cattle nor sheep shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows, God may relent and forgive and without his blazing wrath, so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, He repented of the evil that He had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm 
A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A clean heart create for me, O Lord, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God. You will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Let us all stand. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became the sign of the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation at the judgment the queen of the south will rise with the men of this generation and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of solomon and there is something greater than solomon here at the judgment the men of nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because of the preaching of jonah they repented and there is something greater than Jonah here. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ang sabi po sa isang awitin, God is watching us from the distance. Totoo nga kaya? na ang Diyos ay pinapanood lang tayo malayo sa atin. Ang Diyos ang pangalay Emmanuel na nasa sa atin ang Diyos. Ibig sabihin mga kapatid ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, tayo ay nagninilay, tayo ay nagdarasal. At ang pinagninilayan natin ang hindi masukat na biyaya ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Sapagkat Itong panahon ng kwares may paghahanda. 40 days po tayong maghahanda for Paschal Mystery, yung pong pagpapakasakit, kamatayan, at muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. Kaya ang ating pinagninilayan ngayon, yung kanyang hiwaga ng pag-ibig, yung hindi masusukat na pagmamahal sa atin, yung pagbibigay ng kanyang sarili, at pagbububo ng dugo, pag-aalay upang tayo'y maligtas. At ito'y napakagandang palatandaan at sapat na tanda na ng kanyang pagmamahal para sa atin. Kaya nga sa mabuting balita, nagalit ang ating Panginoon sapagkat ang ilang tao at ang merong mga lahi na humihingi ng tanda galing sa langit. Ngunit ang tanda na nasa kanila ay mismong ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Higit pa sa tanda ni Jonah at higit pa sa tanda noong panahon na 
ang reyna ay pumunta kay Solomon upang makinig. Kung titingnan natin mga kapatid, ang hiwaga ng pag-ibig ng Diyos ay isang tanda upang tayo'y maniwala, upang tayo'y manampalataya, na iniunat niya ang kanyang braso sa, sa krus upang ito'y maging simbolo at tanda ng pagmamahal at kaligtasan. Kaya minsan nagtatanong din tayo mga kapatid, sa pinagdadaanan ba nating problema, sa mga pagsubok na meron tayo, tinatanong ba natin ang Diyos, nasaan ang Diyos? Tumitingin lang kaya ang Diyos? Nanunood lang kaya ang Diyos sa ating paghihirap at pagsakripisyo? Hindi. Ito ay bahagi ng ating pakikiisa sa Kanya, kaya sa kasama natin ang Diyos. Ngunit bakit tayo nagtatanong mga kapatid? Kasi minsan kapag meron tayong pinagdarasal, meron tayong sariling pamantayan, meron tayong sariling pananaw na minsan sasabihin natin bakit parang tila baga hindi sinasagot ng Panginoon ang aking dalangin sapagkat meron tayong sariling pananaw sa buhay at pamantayan ng pagtugon ng ating mga dasal. Pero ang tagal na tagal na palang tinugon ng Panginoon ang ating panalangin sa ibang pamamaraan. Kaya nga, itong magandang paalala, huwag na tayong humingi pa ng tanda ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Mismong ang Diyos na nagkatawang tao ang siyang tanda ng pagmamahal. Sapat na na tayo'y manampalataya sa Kanya. Lahat ng ating pinagdadaanan sa buhay, ito may karamdaman, ito may matinding pagsubok, pero ipagpapa sa Diyos natin, tayo'y mananampalataya sa Kanya. Huwag na tayong humingi pa ng palatandaan, sapat na na tayo'y gumigising isang umaga at binibigyan ng lakas ng panibagong umaga at buhay sapagkat ito ang palatandaan ng Kanyang pagmamahal. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice that our sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, that you have given to me dedicated to your name, that just as for our benefit you make these gifts a sac sacrament, so you may let them become for us an eternal remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contrite to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness, and so we glorify you with countless angels 
as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, the full of your glory, O Son, are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son, are in the Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Hallowed be 
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the parish 
and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa, thank you for your offering. By the cross of Christ, He gave us new life. He cleansed us from our sins and brought salvation to our lives. By the cross of Christ, He brought us who never cease to nourish us by your sacrament, grant that the refreshment you give us through it may bring us an ending life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to St. Padre Pio. Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, Holy, Holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our, our livelihood, our, our health, and our, our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray, we pray that, that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. fulfilled. From, From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana. Mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilan detalye sa ating Pilgrims Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ang inyong pagbisita sa Pambansan Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Bahagi ng pagsasakripisyo ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, tayo po ay inanyayahang mangumpisal at magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan. Makikita po ninyo sa screen ang mga confession schedule. Gayun din naman, meron po tayong pagdarasal na istasyon ng krus 
tuwing araw ng biyernes, sa ganap na ikatatlo ng hapon, ang iklat-aklat dasalan ay available sa ating mga tindahan. Ikalima, mga kapiyo, bahagi pa din ang ating pagpapalalim ng pananampalataya at pagninilay ngayong panahon ng kwaresma. Ang ating lakbay parokya ay gagawin natin sa ilang mga simban sa Pampanga sa darating na March 21, 2024. Para sa mga nagnanay sumama, kayo po ay magpalista sa opisina ng parokya sa halagang 2,500 piso hanggang ngayong March 10 lamang. Ikapito, sa darating pong biyernes ay ikadalwamputatlo ng buwan, ang araw ng pagpapagaling ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio. Ang mga oras ng healing mass at healing liturgy na may pagagawad ng langis ay sa ganap na ikasyam ng umaga at ikalima ng hapon. Kayo at ang inyong mga may sakit ay inaanyayahan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos ang mga makapangyarihan upang tayo'y maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoon Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhos mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahin, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And bless is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa Isa't isa Tayong lahat ay tinipo ng Diyos Nagkapit